Today I'm excited to be working with some cute Copictopia products and Kendra's Card Challenge 14. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. Today I get to showcase some of the Sea Critter Cuties paper from Copictopia along with the Rare and Extraordinary stamp set. So I know my the papers I chose are more sea turtles and fish, but I couldn't resist the Norwals in the stamp set, so I am going to make them work together. I'm also going to be using Sketch 11 from Kendra's Card Challenge 14 for my card. So I'm going to start coloring up my Norwal. I just pulled out like a pastel rainbow array of colors from my colored pencils. Uh, since the Norwal isn't necessarily featured in that one pattern paper that had all of the sea creatures in it, I wanted to at least tie in the colors in it. They're, like the colors kind of did have like a, a pastel rainbow look to them. So I'm just doing some super simple coloring here with my pencils. And while I'm coloring, I do want to say this is a hop uh, for the Kendra's Card Challenge design team. There will be a playlist linked in the description box below for you that you can click on and see all of the participants in the hop. So we would love it if you would hop along and watch all of the videos and all of the projects that we make today. And then also in the description box for each of the videos, there will be a giveaway form that you can, you, there's a link to the giveaway form that you can fill out and have a chance to win a prize from Cards by Kendra. And the giveaway is going to be on April 19th. The deadline is April 19th. And then just keep an eye on the Cards by Kendra community group tab to see if you have won. So on my narwhal there, I colored the, the fish itself like kind of yellow and pink, but then I added the green, blue, and purple onto his horn. And then I decided I'm going to color up a couple of those little stamps, the jellyfish, I think that is, and then the other little fish. I'm going to color those up in similar colors so I can add those to the cards as well. So Copictopia is a super sponsor for Kendra's Card Challenge 14. So they've been nice enough to provide some of the design team some of their cute papers and stamps, and then they are also offering a prize for the Kendra's Card Challenge 14 for this quarter. And Kinder's Card Challenge 14, 14 is the second quarter of 2024, so it runs from April 1st through June 30th. And there's a link down in the description box below as well to Kendra's video where she introduces the new challenge set, and then also a link to her Facebook group where you can upload your photos. I don't have a die set to cut out these, nor do I have a scan and cut. I have a silhouette that could cut these out, but it's almost more trouble than it's worth to, for me to go through that process. So I am just going to fussy cut out the Norwal and the two little fish that I colored, just leaving a white border around it. And then I also cut out that You Are Rare and Extraordinary stamp uh, that was also on that page. I just kind of did a little bubble cut around it. So I have cut my papers down already to the dimensions on sketch 11. One nice thing is Kendra, she does give you the cutting guides for like all 15 cards, but if you just want to make one of the sketches, then she does give you the individual dimensions there. So the sketch kind of shows these two pattern papers butted like together, but because the colors in the two patterns I chose for the background were very similar, I decided to leave just a hint of that yellow card mat showing just to kind of act as a uh, matting, I guess, in between the two. And then I wanted to showcase the sea turtles and all the other critters, so I brought that paper in as the biggest circle. And then instead of one of the circles, I'm using my Norwal, and then I'm going to add my sentiment, even though it's gonna stretch over uh, to that bottom most circle. So this yellow cardstock is just some cardstock I had in my stash. It was already pre-cut into a mat and the colors worked perfect, so I pulled it in. And then I will go ahead and adhere my circles down. And then this is also some pink cardstock that I just had in my stash that again happened to work. And I, like I said, I wanna use the Norwell as the third circle there. 
but I wanted to pop it up a little bit and I am not a big, I do use foam tape, but not a lot because I don't like a ton of dimension, but I did want it to pop up a little bit just to help it stand out since it was, there's a lot going on with the pattern behind it. And so I always have white cardstock sitting on my desk, like scraps left from something I've punched out or sentiments that I've cut. So I tend to pull that in a lot and that's what I'm doing here. I'm just taking some of the pieces and layering, kind of doubling them up. So it's, it's, I think 65 pound cardstock is what I have there. And so I doubled it up just to give it a little more, a little more depth, but not foam tape depth, depth. So get that on and then I will go ahead and glue my Norwal, Narwhal down to the card. I know I decided that there was one other spot that needed to be filled so that it wouldn't dip down. And now I think I've got everything on there that I want and I can go ahead and hear the Narwhal. And then I'm just gonna kind of overlap my sentiment across that circle and underneath the Narwhal. And then the sketch also calls for two smaller circles, like one kind of in the top right and one kind of in the lower left. And that's where I decided to pull in those other little sea creatures that I colored up. And instead of putting one in the lower left, I decided I wanted to fill that space right above my sentiment. So the front of the card is all done. I had a little scrap left of the pink and polka dot. And so I'm just gonna add that to the inside of the card. And then my card will be complete. Again, be sure to check out the playlist below and hop along with all of the participants. And if you haven't already, check out Kendra's Card Challenge 14. Here is one final look at my card. I thank you guys so much for your time today, and I hope you all have a very crafty day.